Hi, this is Steph from Simplicity Happens, and today we're going to create fall apple clip art. And this is a wonderful tutorial for teachers to design their own apple clip art for the classroom and worksheets for their students, and also for parents of little ones at home. There are so many wonderful things you can do. And if you'd like, stick around afterward for the next video, which will show you how to create your own apple tree background scene and lots of different types of worksheets for your students and little ones. If you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to the Simplicity Happens channel and let's get started on creating our fall apple clip art. All right, let's get started on creating our apples. The first thing we're going to do is going to insert shapes and we're going to select the teardrop shape. Then we're just going to click and drag, making it as circular as possible here at the bottom. And come up at the top to the point, click on that orange circle, and then you're just going to pull inward. Okay, we're going to turn and align center. The next step is to go ahead into shape fill. And we can make this right now in black and white as a coloring sheet. Shape outline in black, and then we'll thicken it to four and a half points. All right, the next step will be to go in and create the stem. So go to shapes and insert the rectangle symbol. Again, we're just going to put that one in black and white as well and thicken. I'm going to align center and then send backward. All right, and the last step is to create our leaf. So go back into shapes and insert the teardrop shape again. Also going to put this in black and white with the same weight. And then let's insert a line to give the leaf some definition. So go under lines and just select the line. And then when you go to the leaf, you'll see these little dots pop up around the teardrop symbol. And you're just going to connect the dot straight across the rounded dot to the pointy dot at the top. Okay, go ahead in. Put the outline in black and four and a half points, and then we'll group the leaf. And then make it a little bit smaller or to whatever your liking is. And we're going to go ahead and send it backward. Bring it forward again. Kind of just tweak it to get it where you like it. All right, and then once that's completed, you can group it and you have a lovely apple that you can use for a coloring sheet or a worksheet. I do have more activities in another tutorial that will show you how to create your own apple background zine and worksheets for in the classroom. I'll have that added at the very end of the video so you can click right to it. All right, so now that we have our coloring sheet apple completed, if you like your apple, go ahead and right click and save as picture so that you can save it onto your computer and reuse it again. Always keep the original though, so that you can create your own modified apples. So let me show you what else you can do. I'm going to copy and paste. And if I want to make a really pretty red apple, I'm just going to then click on the rounded part of the apple go into shape fill and let's select a really pretty red color. For the leaf, just clicking on the leaf portion, I'm gonna go into shape fill and choose a really nice green color. And then to go directly into the stem, just click on that. And I'm going to go into shape fill and select this nice brown gold color. And then if you'd like, 
you can go in. I'm just going to duplicate my slide so that I have my apples here. And then I want to go ahead and create different color apples. So I'm going to go into shape fill and select a green apple. I'm going to make my leaf a darker green and stick with that brown color for the stem. And then we can make a nice yellow apple. So that way, if you want to create your own clip art creations, you'll have an apple for your coloring sheet, a red apple, green apple, and yellow apple. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial today. Um, please stick around if you'd like to view a tutorial on how to make an apple background scene with different types of worksheets for students or for your little ones at home. Again, if you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe to the Simplicity Happens channel, and I'll be back next week with another clip art tutorial. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day or evening. Bye.